I'm going to tell you today how to set up um, scopes, how to get everything ready during the case, what to do, and then afterwards how to do the pre-cleaning so that it's ready to go down to SP and be processed. Um, what we have here is our gas scope. It comes in a container with lids and then you have little green tags on it that are normally sealed. If the green tags are not on the scope, um, then it most likely is a dirty scope and just to be safe we'd want to take that to SP and have that reprocessed. Um, if it has the green tags on it, there'll be little letters that indicate what kind of scope it is um, so that you'll know what's uh, in the tray. You're going to break those seals and then open your scope. Inside your container you should have the scope, um, you should have your air kit and water buttons, and then also a AW adapter, channel adapter. See that? <laughs> You're going to um, look at your scope, open your buttons. You should have three in there. Of course it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> and then you're going to connect those to your scope. On your scope there's a blue ring. Um, blue goes to blue. And you just slide it in and kind of twist down. Then you'll have another one with a red dot that's for your suctioning. That'll go on the top. Twist that in. And then your third and final one that you can use for irrigation goes on the bottom. Once you're done with that, um, you're ready to plug your scope in. There's a white dot on the top of the scope. That's going to match up with the gray dot on the tower, the gray circle. There's also a long um, piece and a shorter piece and it goes in there with the longer on top. You'll slide it in and it just locks in. You'll hear a little click and then that's how you know it's in the correct spot. And then I like to get the scope, um, make sure it's setting correctly on the tower. That way it doesn't slide off or break. Scopes are very expensive so we don't want any of the pieces to be broken in the process. Um, then you're ready to set it up. So you'll take two bottles of sterile water You'll take one of them, pour a little bit of it into some type of basin. It can be the blue basin in the Olympus tote, or it can be just the kidney basin that um, anesthesia has in the back room. And then you'll start with your aqua shield tubing. There are two types. There is one type that uses CO2 and one type that does not. The CO2 one has a red cap and the regular one just has a clear cap. For this purpose, we're going to just show you what to do with the CO2, that way you know how to hook it up. Um, there's two sets of tubing on this. One goes to the scope and the other one goes to the CO2. You just tighten it onto the bottle. And all your tubing untangled, that way it's not kinked anywhere, and set it on the side there. Um, the one set of tubing has a circular piece, large and small, and those just connect to the scope. You slide it on. There's a little clamp on there. When you're disconnecting, you want to unclamp. That way the gas can get through, and when you're done, clamp it back up so it doesn't leak. Then your other set of tubing is going to go to your CO2. The CO2 box is down there. Um, and then you just connect them, just lightly twist them together. You don't need to push it on, otherwise it'll get stuck. When you're all done, it just twists apart, same way. Um, the pigtail tubing that is connected to this gas, um, the COT box, is not disposable. It needs to stay on here. Um, if it's thrown away, it's very expensive to replace. Mm -hmm. Next, you're going to take your next sterile bottle of water. You're going to open it. And then you're going to connect your irrigation tubing to that um, bottle. There's an irrigation connector and irrigation tubing. The connector has a blue side and a gray side. So it's just a little piece. You're going to connect the gray side to the gray or silver. Then you'll spin in your irrigation tubing into the other bottle. They're all just screw caps, so they screw on nice and easily. I usually set this on the bottom shelf. And then make sure your tubing is all entangled. You don't want to get it tangled up. And you're going to connect blue 
to blue and you just twist that in there as well and then on down on your tubing there's a, a section where it's um, softer tubing there's little arrows on that that you can see and a white tip the white piece needs to be on the left side of the irrigator and you're just gonna slide that right in and then shut it down um, these little tips right here are very sharp so just be careful not to puncture the tubing uh, otherwise water will be going everywhere once you're ready um, that's all completed you're ready to turn it on and make sure everything works correctly you'll also want to have um, some 4x4s and lube up here to help um, lube the tip of the scope so that it can go into the patient's um, esophagus or colonoscope um, the other direction and then um, last but not least you'll need suction uh, suction tubing I usually just borrow from anesthesia but if um, you're doing just an EGD by itself case then you can get your own suction and hook it up to a suction canister and that gets hooked up to the right side right there and then that would be hooked up to suction And then once um, everything else is done, you want to check your lighting to make sure the scope works. So you're going to come down here where it says lamp and press on. And then just hold it up something, make sure. Sometimes it needs white balanced as well. If you need to do that, you can hit this white balance button. Um, that'll make sure that's completed since it's green. We know that is correct. Right now the air is on. You can have air on if you want to turn the air on off. Then you can come down here and turn gas on. To turn gas on, you just um, say it's off, you would just turn this on. This right here shows you how much CO2 is in the canister. If it's red, you'll have to change the tank out. And then you just press this button for on and off. Um, and then also for the irrigation, uh, you want to put it on full flow. <laughs> that way it flows um, at a quicker pace. Malfunctions. <laughs> Um, and then you'll use your foot pedal or you can use your hand to just test it and you'll push that and make sure that the irrigation flows through the tube till it comes out the tip. And once that's done, it's ready to go. Yay. Now do you want to go through the cleaning process? Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Um, so the cleaning process, when you first start, um, you want to make sure um, you have your enzymatic cleaner open. Uh, it's in a blue and white container. You're going to take the sponge that's inside, which you can see. You're going to wipe it all down, starting um, at the tip and then working your way down. And then I usually do it a couple times over just to make sure it's nice and clean. Then you'll stick the tip of um, the scope into the enzymatic cleaner and you're gonna press the red button on your scope to suction up the enzymatic cleaner. So you'll push that till you've sucked up all the cleaner. <laughs> and then once um, that stuff is completed, you're going to remove your blue key and place the AW um, adapter in that section. Just twist right in the same thing. You're going to stick the tip of the scope into sterile water and hold that for 10 seconds and it should bubble if it's working correctly. If you have an old tower, which is the 180, you'll push it, push it for 30 seconds. And then once that is completed, you'll take it out and then you want to um, run the irrigation through the scope as well again. So to do that, you'll make sure your irrigation is um, all the way up again and then use your, hand, your foot pedal or you can use it as a hand pedal and run the irrigation through there all the way as well. And run that for about 10 seconds to make sure it's nice and clean. And then you're all done. You can disconnect everything. Again, one tip, just make sure you clamp off. Um, the CO2 portion, otherwise it will leak everywhere. Um, make sure that you get ever, all the parts put nicely back in the container. You leave the enzymatic cleaner bottle in there so that they know it's been cleaned. And then take it back to the shelf in SP. Perfect. And they leave that in when they do. When they yeah. Them, leave yep. that in. And if there's any questions on how to pre-clean, um, directions are on the side of every, of every single tower. And you can always ask. And always ask somebody else. <laughs> Thanks.